I'm Dr. Michael Lee. Um, I'm in practice in Dallas, Texas, and we're here in New York for a meeting, and Dr. Jason Rustein, who normally would host this, is not able to be with us, so I'm going to be sitting in uh, today interviewing our um, candidate, uh, Carrie Campbell. Carrie, for our viewers out there, why don't you tell us a little bit about your training, um, both residency and then how you transitioned to fellowship. Sure. I trained in an integrated program at UT Southwestern. I loved my experience, had a great exposure to aesthetic surgery, but I really wanted to take a year to dedicate focus to aesthetic surgery only. Uh, so I ended up at Manhattan Nine Year and have been here for about six months doing my aesthetic surgery fellowship. Fantastic. So did you um, entertain the idea of doing other types of fellowships? And if so, what made you decide on aesthetics? Uh, yeah, I did. I, I thought about doing a micro fellowship. I really loved microsurgery. I loved aesthetic surgery. I felt like I'd really gotten a lot of experience with both, but aesthetic surgery, first of all, is how I want to practice. You know, I want to have an aesthetic practice going forward. Um, I love microsurgery, but I did a lot of it in residency hands-on. I was very fortunate. Uh, I saw a lot of aesthetic surgery, but I really wanted to take this time to have a dedicated year where I not only was working with masters, but was really having time to practice what I was learning as well. So then now halfway through your mm -hmm. aesthetic fellowship, so you're, you have to be looking for jobs, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that. If you're looking for an aesthetic practice, mm -hmm. um, where are you at in that search? Talking to a few people, you know, it's, a, it's quite a daunting process. Okay. Um, it's nice to have mentors to talk to, to um, ask questions to. I feel like the practices that I'm looking at that I'm considering the most highly have mentors that uh, have practices that I'm interested in, you know, mimicking going forward. Right. Yeah. So for you, it's fairly important to transition into a practice where you have some guidance, even though you've had residency at a very well-known program yeah. and then a fellowship at a well-known program, but still yeah. that mentorship, you feel like you need uh, possibly carry it on into practice. I do. And, you know, the benefit of my training is that I've been around all these people that have had this ongoing academic dialogue, even in private practice, and I don't want to lose that as I go into practice. I don't want to, right. I personally enjoy that dialogue, and so I want that yeah. to, to go forward. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you for uh, sharing with us today your story, and we look forward to seeing where life takes you. All right, thanks. Thank you.